the failure of ruxolitinib treatment can vary. The definition can vary. So some patients fail because they never have a response to begin with. That's a minority of patients. Other patients may uh, fail because they are intolerant of the drug. They can develop significant cytopenias or non-hematologic toxicity. And I would say that that's also a minority of patients, but they do exist. And then most patients fail because they have some degree of response um, and it may be suboptimal um, and or optimal and then lose that response um, and start having progressive spleen symptom or both or progressive cytopenias. Um, and that's often a reason for discontinuation. So depending on what that looks like for any given individual will inform the best treatment approach. For patients who have great spleen and symptom response but continue to have anemia, typically you check an erythropoietin level and then can dose an ESA, uh, if appropriate, danazol, uh, immunomodulatory drugs like thalidomide or lenalidomide, or even loose patercept off label in the US is a possibility for those uh, receiving roxalinib with residual uh, transfusion burden. And a third of patients can respond to that. So there are various treatments to address anemia that can be added on to ruxolitinib. If you have a uh, poorly controlled spleen and symptom burden and, and anemia, for example, then I, I would advocate for totally changing therapy from ruxolitinib. And for spleen and symptom control, I still think vidratinib as a commercially available drug is a great option. Um, and that should be considered um, clinical trial options uh, vary, and they can include pelabresib, um, the BET inhibitor, nabitoclax, the BCL2 inhibitor, parcyclisib, the um, p 3 kinase inhibitor, and uh, naftamabalin, the MDM2 inhibitor. I mean, there are a number of drugs that are, are moving into the space that would hopefully synergize with ruxolinib and salvage those responses in patients who have a suboptimal response or have lost initial response. And then, of course, if transplant is an option for the patient, patients who are losing response before they get even sicker should be moved to transplant as quickly as possible.